Look at somebody and say, I am unstoppable. Whatever you thought you lost, whatever is taken from you, God will compensate you. All things work together for good to those who are called according to his what? Purpose. All things. May your life attract people that have something to do with your destiny. Yeah. Yeah. to celebrate this service. It is what you've made me. That's what I am. I am nothing without you. Just ordinary clay. Anoint these leaves of clay that it will declare your total counsel to your people. Grant your people understand it. Those watching online, give them divine revelation and a breakthrough this morning. And the church will shout a loud Amen. If you are alive and you are sure you are alive and you are happy to be alive, can I hear you shout a loud Amen? And give the Lord Jesus a very big shout and a clap this morning. Celebrate the King of Glory. Arabadayaga. Thank you. Thank you, choir. Give this wonderful choir made from heaven. Give them a very big clap, clap. It was that's beautiful this morning. Somebody said, What makes a good service? is powerful prayer powerful praise powerful word and great offering mm -hmm. that's what makes a wonderful service back to what i started the uh, sundays two sundays ago Zara spirit and Pharaoh's spirit. Dealing with the spirit of shortcut and the spirit of due process. Taking my scriptures from Genesis 38 from verse 38 from verse 27. Genesis 38 from verse 27. Very quickly, Genesis 38 from verse 27. And it came to pass in the time of her travail that behold, twin were in her womb. And it came to pass when she travailed that the one put out his hand, and the midwife took and bound upon his hand. A scarlet thread, scarlet thread, saying, This came out first. And it came to pass as he drew back his hand, that behold, his brother came out, and she said, How hast thou broken forth? This breach be upon thee. Therefore, his name was called Pharez. And afterward came out his brother that had a scarlet thread upon his hand and his name was called Zara. I gave you a background of what happened here between Judah and Tama. Judah and Tama. Tama is the daughter-in-law of Judah who played on Judah because she was married to Judah's son, fourth son, and uh, the fourth son died. And she was given to the second son. And Judah pleaded with the second son and said, boy, sleep with your brother's wife and let us have a seed from your brother. Because Judah received a word from his father, Jacob, who said to him, the scepter 
will not depart from Judah. And Judah was conscious of the prophetic word. And if he is forced on his dead, then the first one must have a seed for the scepter to remain. Because it was understood then, and like it is now, that the fourth son is the one that takes the larger share of inheritance. When you talk about inheritance, the fourth son will come into focus. And that's why the Bible says the fourth son must be redeemed for every son that opens the womb is dedicated unto the Lord. So he was conscious of this, this prophetic declaration. And so Judah insisted that his second son pregnant the late brother's wife. And the Bible said this second son, the, what happened to the Judah's first son was he was wicked and God killed him. And second son also was wicked. When he was to sleep with the brother's wife, the late brother's wife, when it was time for him to ejaculate, he pulled out and poured it on the ground. And God got angry and killed him. And Judah became afraid just like any of us and said, if two sons have died in, on account of this woman, I have the last son. How can I give the last son to her? Besides, the last one has not grown. So Judah played and said, you know what? Go back to your parents. When my last son grow, we will send for you. So they can come and kill her too. Kill him too. And the woman left. Only for her to discover that that was a game. She now waited for Judah on the road. And Judah, it's like Judah had a, had a problem a ministry of climbing and his wife had died there are situations in life that forces men to do some things only when you are not in that position that you run your mouth and condemn just conclude if i were to be in this situation what will i do we may conclude that judah messed up of course he did and judah was going somewhere came under serious pressure and decided to sleep with a harlot, his son on the road. Didn't know the harlot he saw on the road was the daughter-in-law who disguised herself. And I just wonder how Judah didn't recognize his daughter-in-law's voice. So I do not know. And you know, they used to dress the same way that uh, uh, the Muslims dress because they are from the same region. Maybe he didn't see the face. Whatever is the issue, Judah slept with her. Unfortunately for Judah, he didn't have enough money to pay after collecting. The woman said, well, you can't collect this in free. You must pay. So, okay, let me pledge. And Judah dropped his staff and his bangle and said, when I'm coming back, I will bring the money we agreed on and take my staff and my, my, my bangle. I gave you the, back, the background that day and something happened. And when Judah now took the money to go and give, sent his friend to go and give to the woman. And they went to that environment and discovered that there was no woman, there was no prostitute in that place. Judah was confused. My staff and my bangle. While he was confused, after searching, there was nobody that can identify her. Something happened, ladies and gentlemen. Judah had the news that her daughter-in-law was pregnant said what this woman we married got pregnant for another man no according to our law bring her and let us stone her to death and the woman came and said i'm very sorry what i have done they said you are going to be stoned to death he said, there's no problem but let me show you who owns the baby and she brought the staff and brought the bangle and said whoever owns this it's responsible for the pregnancy. Judah was broken down. Judah has committed abomination. That was the reason why the scepter departed from Judah. Friend, listen to me. When prophecy comes and you are not in the same position where prophecy will be fulfilled, prophecy will be hindered. From that moment, because Judah is the father of, of Pharez and Zara. And this is abomination for you to sleep with your son, with your daughter-in-law. It is, you bring a curse 
And so the tribe of Judah came under a curse which denied them entering into the throne for 10 generations. It was in 10th generation. Saul came from Benjamin. Saul supposed the Benjamites are not to produce a king. The king must come from Judah. But what happened? It has to take 10 generations. It was the 10th generation that, after the 10th generation, that David became a king. So what was fighting Saul was too many things. And David became a king because the scepter must not depart from Judah. Now, ladies and gentlemen, this woman was pregnant. And we're told in the process she was to deliver. She was carrying twins. And she was to deliver. Push! A baby's hand came. When the baby's hand came, the baby's hand blocked the passage. The person that was to come first could not come because there is a hand that blocked the passage. Whatever hand that is blocking your passage, if I hear your amen, I break it off in the name of Jesus. That is the hand of, that is the hand of Zara. That's the hand of Zara. And because it, it came first, the midwife took the hand the, oh God help me, took the hand and tied a scarlet thread and declared the hand firstborn. The spirit of Zara is the spirit that try to outshine you. The spirit that manipulate to take your position even when you are online. It manipulates to take your position. And the midwife, how can you declare? Ladies and gentlemen, the hand doesn't control the brain. It is the brain that controls the hand. Faraz was coming with head. It takes the brain for you to succeed on earth, not the hand. It is what the brain think out. That a hand will do. How can you declare hand first when there is somebody coming with brain? The problem of us Nigerians and other African countries is that it is our hand that is working, want to grab, want to grab, not our brain. We are not thinking. When you see a man that is not thinking, his hand is ready to grab. It is not the hand. For the Lord to bless the labor of your hand, he has to bless your brain first. The head, think out what the hand will do. Not the hand thinking for the brain. It has never been and will never be. And that's why we are slaves. That's why you hear us, we are hustling, hustling. What are you hustling for? Because you refuse to make your brain sweat. But to make your brain sweat, you will not get anything. If you make your brain sweat, then you can take risk. It is not the hand, it is the head. Fares, listen to me. You will use your brain. If I hear you say amen. amen. Zara may have taken the hand to grab. It's not going to last for too long. Mm, somebody need to hear what I'm saying here. Zara may have used hand to do what? To grab. It is for the moment. It is not going to last for too long. And so they declared, declared Zara first. Listen to me. They may have declared somebody first. My Bible says in Romans chapter 9 verse 11, it says it's not of him that will it. It's not of him that run it. It is God that showeth mercy. You may have taken first. Watch the festival that is going on now, the sports festival that is going on. You will see somebody take off on a race. He's flying. All of a sudden, something happens. Don't withdraw because Zara has come out. Zara has not taken your place. Fight for your own.
Ladies and gentlemen, it's not those who graduated first that succeed in life. Uh, somebody must hear me this morning. Zara's spirit is the spirit I told you that shows up to outshine you from the back. It's the spirit that envies your position and manipulates everything to take it. It is evil hand that attempt to pull you back from your position. It is a spirit that takes credit you deserve, like heaven. It takes credit that you deserve. That is our spirit. You must watch Zara spirit. Every one of you in business, you must watch out for Zara spirit. Very, very subtle. Their tongue is coated with sugar. They tells you the kind of thing that will be done that if you follow this way, follow this way, we will just arrive there. If you follow shortcut, you will be cut short. Because Zara spirit is a spirit that bypasses process. When you bypass process, you will not have a product. You may have something that looks like a product, but it's not going to last long if you bypass process. One of the problems we have in this country today is that we don't want, even though we have the department that talk about due process, there is no due process. It is who you know. It is who you know. Zara's spirit, it is the spirit of this, a spirit of destiny manipulation. It manipulates your destiny. It comes in diverse form to make sure your destiny will be manipulated and ruptured. That's what Zara's spirit does. Zara's spirit, it is the adversary at your gate of breakthrough. That fights you at the gate of your success. Zara spirit. Zara spirit. Look at what Haman did. He took what belonged to Mordecai and stopped Mordecai at the gate. Like some of us stopped at the gate because somebody took what belonged to us. Some of us didn't marry the person we intended to marry. Our friend married the person. The friend we introduced. The, the friend we introduced and said, this is my friend. They went behind and said, what are you doing with that person? He said, a prostitute. The, he says, Zara spirit uses all kinds of devices to rupture destiny. Lies and blackmail. Can I, can I tell you who Zara spirit is? Household witchcraft. That's what Zara's spirit is. Household what? Witchcraft. If you check two of them, we are in the womb. Fares believed that my brother is following. Fares, they didn't know when the brother put hand and collected the first. And said, they say he's second. They may have said the position is given out. It's not for people like you. And it cannot be for people like you. Hear me, that is the saying of a man. The Alpha has not said so. The Omega has not said so. They may have denied you. Circumstances may have come and Zara has become and Zara is driving the car. Zara didn't take what belonged to you. If you can fight, you can win.